Minnesota Vikings. Clearly, Robert, they were in panic mode after Teddy Bridgewater suffered a torn ACL and more knee damage. We know now he will have surgery on Thursday. Minnesota traded for Sam Bradford and gave Philly a first-round pick and a conditional fourth-rounder. Now, before Bridgewater went down, Peter King was on our set, Robert. He told us the Vikings were his sleeper Super Bowl pick. Did this trade put them back in that conversation? You know, I, I didn't really agree with Peter in the first place there. I think that they were pretty far away from a Super Bowl to begin with. Um, you look at some of the changes that they've made, and, and, and still with Teddy Bridgewater as a rookie, they had you know the least passing yards in the NFL last year. Um, he was able to mask that by only throwing five interceptions. Uh, you lose Teddy Bridgewater and you bring in Sam Bradford. It took him four years to look uh, like a, you know a competent NFL quarterback after becoming the number one overall pick in, in 2009. So I can't imagine that he's going to look great as a starter with 11 days of, of prep uh, yeah. or less. Than that. Yeah. yeah. What's your confidence level in Bradford right now? Well, uh, I think it says a lot that Philadelphia was willing to part ways with him and go with. Carson Wentz to start the season here. Um, Bradford was probably the best option that they could get, but if they were talking about getting a guy like Bradford before the Bridgewater injury, there's no way they would have had to give up a first-round pick for him. Um, like the GM Rick Spielman said this week, um, you know, teams smelled blood in the water when Teddy Bridgewater went down. Um, I think that Bradford is a guy who, given a lot of time and surrounded with the, with the right supporting cast can have some, some success in Minnesota. Um, but like I said, just under a week, I don't see it. Aaron Hart Jr.'s 2016 season is officially over. Hendrick Motorsports made the announcement Friday morning that the driver has not been medically cleared to compete for the rest of the season. At 41 years old, Aaron Hart Jr. has missed the past six races after suffering a concussion during a wreck at Michigan International Speedway in June.